Let's go. I can't do it with a mouthful of candy. What's going on guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. With that being said, guys, make sure that you hit the thumbs up because it really helps the channel just roll down there, right up under the video. Click the thumbs up until it turns blue, and that's it, and we're all good. All right, so in this video, guys, I want to talk to you about Chesapeake Ultra Beer Conditioner. All right, so this is the bottle. Really nice looking bottle, too, at that. So, I wanted to talk about Scotch Porter here for a minute also, because when I do these videos like this, I actually want to compare them to this because a lot of you guys know what this is. This is one of the baddest beer conditioners that I've ever found that actually worked on my beard. So, when I get a beer conditioner, guys, I want to get something that works as close to that or just as good as that beer conditioner that I can find, right? So, when I'm talking about these conditioners, I'm kind of comparing them to that, but I don't want to make you feel like this beer conditioner is any less than that. I think that it's just really hard for somebody to top that beer conditioner, and that's okay because people are getting really, really close. So, And I'll have a video later in the future of my kind of top three, four, five beer conditioners, whatever it may be. It's hard for me to find a really good one because sometimes, you know, a lot of the beer conditioners I get are just kind of stripping, and I don't even... I ain't, actually, guys, I'm just throwing them in the trash. So if I'm talking about them, they're good. They're a very good conditioner, right? Chesapeake Ultra here, guys, is one of one of the closest beer conditioners that I personally found that actually come close to touching Scotch Porter's old formula. That's really hard to do, guys. The scent profile on this is kind of like uh, it's just a nice, clean smell. It's kind of like any other. Uh, hair or shampoo conditioner that you would get. Um, it's got a little bit more funk to it, you know what I'm saying? When I say funk, I mean better smell to it than any other natural uh, hair or can, um, hair shampoo or conditioner that you can get. But it's a really nice smell. So if you strip your beard out with some kind of wash and put this in, you just got a real nice kind of fruity, just nice smell to it. It's kind of natural, so that's good. You know, some some people don't like the, the real strong um, conditioners that smell like tobacco or something like that and some people don't like the ones that don't have a smell so this one floats right there in between but this beer conditioner guys is absolutely amazing it is one of the only beer conditioners that's in my top favorites that actually make your beard feel super soft when you get out of the shower now this is important guys i have a gray beard so i can only imagine if it's doing this for my beard somebody that doesn't have a gray beard it probably works even more better for them guys right when i talk about these beer conditioners guys it's because it's something that i want to provide to you guys and let you guys know that this is a conditioner that is actually doing its job there's nothing more that depresses me than when i get a beer conditioner or any beer product but especially a conditioner man because i want these to work so you get a conditioner you get in the shower you use it you get out and your beard just still feels stripped i can't stand that guys so this beard conditioner right here will not let you down guys gary you did an awesome job on this beard conditioner so those of you who never tried chesapeake ultra all right take it from a gray bearded man this is an awesome beard conditioner right here guys you cannot go wrong your beard will be super soft this is one of my top favorites i haven't talked about it in a while and like i said i'll make a video with my top three or four or five whatever it ends up being beer conditioners to let you guys know in the near future but this is one of them guys and i had to bring it to you with that being said hope y'all have a blessed day